Hello, I'm Minton Heath, Early Years Children. Today, we are going to name our mythical creature. So this week on Your Home Learning, we asked you to design and draw a picture of your own mythical creature. Now today, we're going to give your mythical creature a name. So I'm going to do mine for you as an example, using our phonics to help us write the mythical creature's name and to maybe label some parts on their body. Okay, so I'm going to give my mythical creature an alien name, a nonsense name, a nonsense word, what does it mean? Yeah, the thing. Well, we're just going to use our phonics to write it. I might put it into a sentence. I might write, my creature is called, and then I'm going to give him a name. Okay, so the first word, my. My is a red word, we can't thread a red, so I'm going to have to just know how to write my. So to write my, it's, we write a mm, down Macy, mountain, mountain, and a y, y, down and under, up to the top and under his chin. Okay, so my. The next word is creature. We know it's a new word because we're going to leave a space. Okay, so we're going to do a Fred jump and leave a space. Now we're going to write the word creature. What's the first phony that you can hear at the start of creature? That's right, k -k -k. And it's the curl around the caterpillar, because there's two different ones. So we're going to leave a space and I'm going to write k -k -k, curl around. And let's say the word creature again. What's the next phoneme you can hear? Perhaps some in the middle. Creature. <gasps> yes. Urr. So we're going to write down the robot's body. Curl over his arm. Creature. <gasps> down the insect's body. Dot for his head. Cree. Ch. That's right. Ch, ch, ch. Oh, what is it? It's a special friend. So it's two graphemes, one phoneme. Are you ready? How do we write ch? What two graphemes do we need? That's right. We need a k, k, k curl around the caterpillar and a <laughs> down the horse's head to his hooves. And over his back. So, creature. Yes, another er. The last thing we can hear is an er again. So, down the robot's body, curl over his arm. Okay, so my creature. The next word is is. What's the first phone we can hear in is? If, if, if. But we need a space because remember it's a new word and we always know it's a new word if we've left the space. So we're going to do a Fred jump and we're going to write it, it, it. Down the insect's body, dot for his head. Okay. Is. That's right. Say it with me. Slither down the snake. My creature is cold. The first phony in the word cord. Oh, that's right, k -k -k. but it's a new word, so what do we need? A space. So we want the curl around the caterpillar again. Are you ready? Curl around the caterpillar. K -ord. Oh, oh, oh. Down and under, up to the top, and draw on the puddle. K -ord. Oh, down the long leg. Cold. That's right, the last phone in is da, da, da. Round the dinosaur's bottom, up his long neck, down to his feet. My creature is called, I'm going to use an alien name for mine. I'm going to call him Vob. Mm. What phone does Vob start with. Oh, that's 
That's right. Hmm. Make some new words. So what do we need? A space. Let's do a bit of a Fred jump. We're going to try it. Ready? Down the wing. Up the wing. Ob. What's the next phoneme? Ob. Oh, oh, oh. You're right. All around the orange. And the last phoneme in Vob. That's right. B, b, b. Down the lace to the heel and around the toe. Vob. Excellent. Shall we read our sentence to make sure it makes sense? Are you ready? It says, My creature is called Vob. That's my sentence. We know it's a sentence because a sentence is made up of words. Let's count how many words are in our sentence. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five words in our sentence. Okay, so you are going to have a go at naming your creature. You may want to label some of the things that you've put on your creature. So I might, I might draw a line here and I might want to label the, write the word wings. Wings, what does wings start with? <gasps> That's right. So it's down, up, down, up the worm. Wings. I, 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 I. Down the insect's body, dot for his head. Wing. Another special friend, that's right, well done. Mm. Thing on a string. Mm. Are you ready? So we need mm, down Nobby over his net and round the girl's face, down her hair, give her a curl. Wing. So we've got some wing. We might do, we might do the beak. Should we do the beak? Let's do a line. Beak. What does beak start with? What phoneme? <gasps> b, b, b. So we want down the lace to the heel and round the toe. B, eek. E, 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 e. Well done. Down the insect's body. Dot for his head. Beak. K, k, k. We're going to do the other k this time. We're going to do down the kangaroo's body tail and leg to label our beak. Okay, I'm going to let you have a go now. Try and use your phonemes to write the words that you need to label your creature and to write your sentence, my creature is called, and then give him a name. Okay, use your phonics to help you. Adults, don't worry if they're not spelling them correctly. In reception, we like to use our phonics first so that we learn how to write. Okay, thank you. See you soon. Bye.